Hi, it's Stephen here from Ted's World of Imaging, getting you educated about binoculars. Here you are, standing in front of a, a fabulous vista, and you see something moving in the bushes. You strain your eyes to see the distant shape, but you can't quite make it out. You need a pair of binoculars. Binoculars come in different sizes with different levels of magnification and fields of view, all coming together to ensure there's a pair of binoculars perfect for your needs. Here are our top five tips for understanding binoculars. First things first, what are binoculars? Binoculars are basically two telescopes in a single frame. The use of two optical devices enables you to see the image with both eyes, making them far more comfortable than if you use one. The added benefit is that objects can be viewed with a three-dimensional effect, adding perspective and a more natural view. Secondly, what is magnification? One of the numbers we deal with in binoculars is magnification, or how much the image is enlarged. Some frequently used magnifications are eight times, 10 times, or 12 times. So a pair of binoculars with a 10 times magnification, the image is 10 times larger than you can see with the naked eye. So if you want to magnify small objects such as birds or objects that are far away, then go for a larger magnification such as 12 or greater. If you want to get a closer view of a broad subject, a magnification such as eight may be suitable for you. Make sure you get the magnification that suits your need. For distant or small objects, a greater magnification is great. If you're off to safari, maybe a large magnification isn't so necessary. After all, elephants and giraffes are quite big. Thirdly, what is the second number? The objective diameter. The other number we deal with is the objective diameter, which is how wide the lens is in the binoculars. Some objective diameter numbers are 25, 45, and 50. The objective diameter is the light gathering power of the lens, such as a lens with an objective diameter of 50 is going to be brighter than a pair with 25. This also impacts the sharpness of the binoculars with lenses with a greater number tend to be sharper than those with a smaller number. So as a guide, below 25 millimeters are the compact type of binoculars. 30 to 49 millimeters are what we call standard binoculars and over 50 are for astronomical observation or lower light conditions. Fourthly, do you need waterproof binoculars? Binoculars are available in both waterproof and non-waterproof varieties. So why would you use a waterproof pair of binoculars? If you are a sinewy mountaineering type and love clambering up and out by your fingertips, come rain, sand or snow, then a waterproof pair will give you great service while keeping the weather out of those delicate optical elements. But be aware, water and weatherproof does not necessarily mean indestructible, with the normal precautions still being necessary for rain, dirt and cold weather. If you want your binos for standing on your balcony for a bit of whale stalking, then the extra weight and complexity of waterproof design may not be as much benefit. Fifth, do you need image stabilisation? When you get into binoculars with larger magnifications such as 16 or more, sometimes it can be a little difficult to keep the subject in focus because the extra magnification amplifies your movements. One of the solutions to this is to consider some of the binoculars with image stabilization like these. These compensate for any small movements by ensuring the image is sharp and locked onto whatever you want to focus on. Binoculars are great to see the world closer with a size to suit everybody. A trusty pair of binos are a must in everybody's bag for adventures. Want to know more? Head to teds.com.au slash blog or keep updated by subscribing to Ted on YouTube or following Ted's on Instagram at Ted's underscore cameras for all the latest education. You can also join Club Ted to stay updated on the latest news and content as well as be eligible for all Club Ted only offers. See you soon.